the edges should be straight. Okay, so we've got our box. Next, we learned that there's some sort of device here that they put in the back of the box. They put it in a, at a slant and it records the image when the light comes through the box. So there's my slant board. Finally, I need to draw the light coming in. And so I'm gonna use a line that has an arrow to represent the light and I'm gonna point it towards that recording device the slant board. Now I'm ready to just label everything. Start labeling with the name of the camera. They were told to come in and make the name of the camera a, a larger font than 14 and to change the color. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I said I'm a little behind. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm recording this so you can play it back if you get behind. And okay. I'm gonna post this recording onto the Google stream during my lunch. The next thing you wanna do is you want to identify the light. So I'm creating a text box for light, typing in light. I'm going to change the color here too and bold it. And then finally, I'm going to um, identify this recording device, the slant board. Okay, and I kind of tilted it so people can see it. I'm done with this camera. Now that I'm done with this camera, I'm going to click save and close and it's going to automatically place it onto my Google Doc for me. Finally, I'm going to do the last camera. I would suggest that you guys watch and then you can go and do this on your own. You're going to go to insert, drawing, new. I've repeated that step because I need a new drawing for a new camera. I'm going to repeat line tool. I'm going to draw the body of the camera. I'm going to leave a larger hole this time because this camera has a big camera lens. Next, I can continue to use the line tool or I can make things faster by coming up and using the shape tool, choosing shapes, and then choosing a square shape up here that has rounded corners. I'm gonna drag out a lens here. Now that I've got my camera lens, I'm ready to create my other parts of my camera. In the back, I need film. I'm gonna continue with my, my shapes. I'm gonna to go to my square that has pointy corners and I'm going to record my, my film back here or drag out a box that represents my film. Next, this camera has housing around the film so it doesn't get exposed. I'm gonna to go to the line tool and I'm gonna draw a little shed, a little house around my film. And it's gonna look like this three lines. Now in that little shed that's protecting my film, there is a door that opens and closes the shed. It's called a shutter. So I'm going to make a line right here and I'm going to create that shed door. Now it actually opens like mini blinds instead of one big door. It has several little like slats that a mini blind would have. I'm just going to draw a few to represent that I understand that it opens like such. Finally, the very last thing my camera needs is a button to release the shutter. So I'm going to come back up to my shapes. I'm going to choose a square that has rounded corners, 
just at the top. So this one here near the end, and I'm gonna draw a button that's gonna release that shed door. Great, my camera's done. Oops, it looks like our lens does not have any glass in it. Every lens needs glass. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to add the glass. I'm just going to come and choose a shape that I'm gonna draw out and then I'm going to copy. And then I'm gonna use my arrow keys and space out the glass. The glass is what light passes through. And now I've got my camera and I'm ready to start identifying parts. Going to get the line tool. First thing I'm gonna identify is that the light needs to come to this lens. Okay, so we understand what that line means. We're going to type on top, light. Now that we got our light identified, we're just gonna format it. I'm gonna come and change the color of my, my font. I'm gonna show that I took some time to make this and then make it very easy to read for my viewers. Okay, so my light comes in through there. The next thing I'm going to identify, I wanna identify my film. So that's next. So over here towards the back of the camera, same thing, text box, film. and then format your, your label here. I'm gonna format it with the same color and with the same font size that I used a while ago and the same font type. Okay, also I need people to not be confused of what is the film and what is the shutter. So I'm gonna point here to the film so everyone knows that's my film. Then repeat. Come in here and identify your shutter. If you can work on a laptop, that's always easier. Once you got it typed in, go ahead and format your label here. I'm keeping it consistent with the same color, the same font, and the same font size for all my labels. But if I wanted to make things faster, I could just copy this one and paste it. And then I can just come up here and add the words release button. And then finally, I need to draw an arrow so everyone understands that this is my shutter over here. I'm going to do that so they know it's not the film. This is the shutter right here. Okay, looking good, almost done. So I got my light, I got everything but my lens. Could be very easy to forget here. So I'm just going to Paste in the last one that I used, use my arrow keys, put it where I want it, and modify the word to be lens. Also, I need to name this camera. And this is going to be my single lens reflex camera. Okay, so I've got my camera done. If I want to make sure that people really understand how this concept works, I might come in and and just fill in any holes like how the, the light works. 
It passes through the lens. And that's it, my picture is done. I'm ready to use the save and close component. And I'm ready to turn it in. I've got my lens, I've got the light passing through the lens, approaching the shutter, I've got my shutter, I've got the film that's gonna record the image from the light, and the button that's going to release the shutter to open to capture that light and that image. Click save and close. Now your image is on the document. It's ready to be turned in. You're gonna to go to share like we normally do. You're gonna copy link like we always do. And then you're gonna come over to the classroom, find the assignment. Yours is going to have a private comment box inside the assignment. You're gonna find it at the bottom under private comment. Put your cursor, right click, paste it in there, and you're gonna hit save.